Porto even even call. Yeah. Or even call. So hand at 19. And our new chip leader is first to act. 10-3 under the gun. Passes. Too good. You need to have a half here. And you had a car, of course. Um, but he's never yesterday, there was the running joke about strong. the number of times that Gabion right. Kim was dealt pocket queens. Right. Yeah. Kim of Queens was the nickname that Griffin afforded him. No. King Jack seems to be the hand he's been dealt many times today. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite the excitement that you see when you see King Jack as when you look down a pocket no, queens. No, I, I would agree. Yeah, not quite. But uh, a little bit more excited about King Jack off when you are the chip leader. So Kim raised 325,000. Kamenita has defended with a worse king, King 9. And the flop is Jack 5-5. Five five. It's all Kim. Ooh. Ha. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. This is this is really really not nice. This Blocking. is one of those situations where you make the, you check the flop, the king peels off the turn, you're like, I'm the greatest <laughs> poker player <laughs> in the entire world. Action going pretty quick here. The pot's already up to 1.2 million. Kamenate has got to feel like he's, he's got a value bet in this scenario. What does want to slow down, though, I take it back. Kim like, okay, I guess I'm getting called by a king here, so I should probably go huge. I love this size, guys. I really do. I mean, if you're going to get paid, you're getting paid, right? So you might as well go big. If Kamenita's folding a king here, it's just going to be a, such a sensational such a, such a sensational fold. You don't think there's any shot that in the big blind your opponent is slow playing a five? That is definitely a possibility, absolutely. And the big blind is one of the positions where that is likely to be a thing. But he does make the call. And that means we are now going to have a short stack at this five-handed final table. Kamenita dropping below the 20 big blind mark. There's the guy. <laughs> Did he say no, dirty no. guy? Yeah, I, I will just still like you know. No problem, no problem. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. thinking about last hand. Yeah, yeah. Just sorry. for fun. Now. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, let's stop playing. Okay, so it was Simeon who suggested that maybe they look at the numbers, which is a euphemism okay. for huh? deal negotiations. Mm -hmm. Out. And mm -hmm. Glovny has clearly yeah, said no. Don't think Kim yeah. was that keen either. No, no, you'll be fine. You, you mean the chip be leader be who's yeah. knocking yeah, everyone out doesn't yeah. want to talk about a deal right now? <laughs> I know it's shocking, <laughs> Super right? Super weird. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Hey, congrats on winning that big pot just now. Anyway, Thank could you, you do you want do you want to look at some numbers? Right, is feeling real smug right now about the deal being shot down. He's like, all right, cool, let's play. Ace, queen, raise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If, uh, if anybody's going to be defending their big blind, it's going to be one of the biggest stacks of Taylor here. Kim does come along with 8-6. And look at this <laughs> flop with the six of clubs blocker in his hand as well. Again, not that dissimilar from flopping the flush draw before. Oh, I really like if Kim leads this turn. He decides to check instead, though. The king, obviously, a little bit of a scare card. Yeah. You know, your opponents are going to check black back. Plenty of king X on this flop. Oh, it's small, though. He went really small with the, with the bet on this turn. Two seven five. Just a little bit over a quarter pot sizing. I don't think there's really any way for Kim to get away. I don't think it would be unreasonable for him to call here and then rep the clubs on the river. 
Any chance that, I know you said you would have liked to lead on the turn, Nick. Any chance he was setting up a check race? Potentially. Yeah, I think maybe. Potentially. No, just a call. He's got too, I think he's got too much of a, too much of a good price here to try yeah. and check raise. Right. And <laughs> that is just about as good as it gets right there. Hits the straight on the river. Sleazy game. Leads for 500. Yeah. Quick lead as well. Alexander is does have the opportunity to turn his hand into bluff, though. He's blocking the queen 10. He's blocking the hearts. Yeah, and if you're like a live reads player, I kind of feel like that snap rate, that snap bet there does not look super strong. I would love if he raised here. That would be so cool. Why do you hate Alex Andreas? <laughs> oh, man. He just raised it up to 1.5 million. And now I guess Kim's got to be a little bit worried about the hearts. Yeah, absolutely. I think the, I think the way the hand is played, I think the backdoor flush makes a lot of sense. Absolutely. Or indeed, queen 10. Uh, I mean, look, this is a shrug call. Let's go. You're not happy about it. You can't pull the straight. I do like the play, though. I really do. And I think he... I think it will work a lot of the time. I think when your opponent's rivered the straight, it's a lot tougher. <laughs> By the way, I'm being flippant. I don't have any issue whatsoever with Kim taking a minute here. And hey, when you're playing some of the best in the world, you definitely are a little bit more confident to call with a hand like eight six here, right? A lot of uh, most players just won't even have a move here. Yeah, your 7 p.m. nightly, you, you can maybe be like, okay, they're only <laughs> going to have flushes here. Yeah. Or uh, queen 10. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Which I guess is another hand to consider, right? Yeah, I guess what I'm saying is, yeah, like Joe said, it's, uh, I, I obviously, we can obviously see the cards, but I just really appreciate the heart of this play. Nice pawn. The fake heart. We play two time bank cards, makes a call. And wins a huge pot from Simeon Alexandridis, who now becomes the short stack at this four-handed table. I mean, Alexandridis with the queen of hearts, right? Just 12.2, 11.1. Kortolazzi seems to have had 7.5 million all day. And Alexandridis is the shortest stack with 4.8, but not as short as he once was. Moose leg for Alexandritis. King 10. $325,000. And a big blind defend from the chip leader with Jack 3. Wow, Jack 3 off here, coming along. He's not scared. He is not sacred. There's no sacred poker here. And he's flopped a pair of threes. I, is, this an, is this unfair analysis? Does Kim play the rush? When he's won a big pot, he does seem to then want to play a lot of hands immediately afterwards. I've noticed the same thing. Um, it could be just that a very small sample size that we happen to pick up on, but... Yeah, no. I, I spotted it earlier. Yeah, I think I think that's a that's a fair observation from what we've seen. Um, I think Kim, Kim also understands the dynamic here, being one of the big stacks against one of the shorter ones, that he is going to be able to play these spots post flop a little bit more liberally, and he is not loving it, but he makes the call on the turn. The river is a jack. He picks up two pairs. Oh. That is. Very unfortunate. Alexandritis might absolutely have. You know, I mean, this is a spot where you, you could have definitely. To, you have to value bet. This. You could consider value betting this. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, the only thing that might slow him down is the fact that Kim can have plenty of Jack X combos that were straight draws on the turn. 
or you know two over cards and a gut shot that kind of a thing maybe a hand like queen jack but uh, i i pretty fully, narrow range yeah i fully appreciate that that he's going to try and value bet here because he can still get called by all the weaker pairs some weaker 10x that doesn't have a, as good of a kicker chris g very angry at this river four million more Four million more. Four million more. Can we just go ahead and round up and call that a 10x raise? <laughs> and a 1.4 million more. Oh. <laughs> I swear I heard four million That's more. That's what I thought uh, he said. Maybe he said a million more. Right? That's what it looks like. You said a full million more? Maybe. Whichever works. You know, it's all good. They seem to have <laughs> heard it perfectly. That's all that matters. <laughs> Sorry, how much? He goes, I don't know. Which one are you going to call? <laughs> I do love that sort of banter in cash games where you're just like, you're like, how much will you call? And they're like 40, and you bet 40, no. and they're like, call. <laughs> you want me to call or not? Two Ooh. time cards played already. his own after starting the day with just 26 bigs. Love me, Ace Queen. Ace Queen dot co. Kanakshev with nines. Yeah, and just uh, nine big blinds here, so we're gonna see a big flip <laughs> with eight left here on the final oh, table. Nine of spades, nine of hearts, nine big blinds, all in. Kim well, with queens maybe not in a the big... small blind. Oh my day. Spoke too soon. Oh my days. Oh my days. Fewer than 20 big blinds for Kim. Unbelievable. Also all in. What a spot for Kim. Kim of Queens. Kappa Kappa. <laughs> All right, well, this time the player at risk is the player behind. <laughs> One time he says. I just got done saying the player at risk is the one who's far behind. No clubs for Konakchev. Gonna need the Niner. Did I catch a Niner in there? Konakchev the is hoping. <laughs> so, Ooh. upside down nine. No more chop opportunities. <clears throat> one shot, one opportunity. Seems everything you ever wanted. Yes. yes no one, no nine wins. and no Good more Kanakchev. Okay. Eliminated at eighth. Actually folded to turn Mulder. He's got Queens in the cutoff. He's got Kim's hand. Spirit of the horse. Let's go. Gab Young Kim with oh. Ace King. Strap yourselves in, ladies and gentlemen, for the sickest and classicest of all races. What's 3.25. The favorite, at least. All in, at a call, on their backs. Let's run the board. If Kim gets there, if Kim hits his ace or king, Tun Mulder will be eliminated in seventh place. Wow. 
King High Flop. And now Mulder, he is drawing to one out. Only the Queen of Diamonds is live. It is against the Kim of Queens, though. He does attract Queens. Down to 3%. Needs to see the Case Queen on the river. Or Turn Mulder is eliminated, and we are done for the day. Yes. The river card is Did not the Queen of Diamonds. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Turn Mulder yes. exits in seventh place. Okay. Nobody. Nobody expected this at the okay. start of the day. Nobody expected this at the start of the final table. The spirit of the horse had run its course. 2008, Nick, when Salvatore Bonavena became the first ever Italian to win an EPT. It was a heads-up battle between two Italian players, and every Italian in the building was on that rail, <laughs> knowing that they were going to make history. And that winning moment was one of the noisiest in European poker tour history. I love to see it. That's amazing. Yeah, I mean, you're on, you're on the final table. Your, your, your friends are just sat there drinking beer, hanging out. Come on, guys. I'm not paying for the after party if you're not gonna if you're not gonna rail me home. Come on. King five against queen six. Blind v blind. Okay, little top pair, Checaroni. He want. He decides he wants to bet his top pair now. 300,000, so about half pot there, just under, just over I should say, excuse me. Okay, King Five's going to come along, no improver though. No, so top pair still good for Kim. Chunky. He was quite deceptive on this flop, James. He did check behind with the top pair, which is a somewhat unconventional line at this level. Ten. Heroes with the five, loses to the queen. Lost nine, right? And nine. an additional 1.4 million chips for Gab Yong Kim, a player who bubbled the final. were listening in if you were listening carefully you would have heard him say even after they looked at that deal he even said like you know this isn't even really a good deal for me necessarily like i think it's probably better for me just to play it out because i'm not getting enough in this uh in this in this breakdown so this time from the button alexandretis a few more chips 
decides to pass the queen eight off. I really don't blame him for this. I think queen eight is fine to go ahead and open there, but I also think that with the two big stacks behind you, you're just not going to be you're not going to be happy about a lot of spots. And as we've already seen, I know he had queens and he ran into king five suited against Kim, but Kim's totally willing to put in these three bets and put you in a lot of bad spots, as we saw. So instead, blind be blind. Uh, Kim's deuce is still the best hand on the turn here. Calypne has ace high. I'm not sure if he's going to want to turn this hand into a bluff, though. It's just a little bit too strong. Two checks and going to the river. The king gives Kim two pair again. Another river two pair for Mr. Kim. Ace hate just wants to get to showdown, and there's been a lot of passive action thus far, so you don't blame him. I think the two pairs going for value every single day here, though. Look, he's not careful. He's going to regret not taking that 600 grand. Okay, he finds a fold, good. But that doesn't stop Gabion Kim winning another pot and increasing his chip lead. Where's the rail? Where's the rail? Where's the cheer? Still so much to go. Still so much poker to be played. People playing lots of poker in the deck. There is no joker. Glory, trophies, and big monies. They're up for grabs when you find yourself playing on the EPT. Come on, the four deuce. It's like playing poker in a jumbo jet. <laughs> I'm sorry, it, that is a slight Australian it's Jeremy Clarkson. Not, it's not. It's a good Clarkson if he'd spent a lot of time in Sydney. <laughs> Come on, chat, back me up. It's like driving a car into the eye of a storm. That is the best Clarkson impression in the world. Thank you very much, Alex. Give that man a medal. <laughs> Mort says he's Aussie and it's not great, which means it's not a good Australian impression, which means it must be a great Clarkson impression. <laughs> That's right, Danda Man. Nick is trying to impersonate Kelly Clarkson, <laughs> the first ever American Idol winner. Chop it up evenly. They just want to mess with us a little bit. At least Globy didn't get called a you know what by him <laughs> when he did that. <laughs> I can tell you one thing nobody at this table is sacred. Absolutely not sacred poker here. <coughs> yes. We see another trap here from Globy. Kim's kind of got that, he's kind of in that mood. We've seen him play some pretty spicy hands. Five deuce off isn't going to be one of those, though. He is going to take a flop, though, facing that limp, of course. King Jack Jack on the flop. I don't see any reason to bet here, really, if I'm Glovny. You're going to have the best hand in it unbelievable amount of the time you still have the gut shot you still have two over cards to some small pocket pairs if they're ever in there as a, as a check behind which is still a possibility pocket deuces pocket threes pocket fours that kind of thing not completely unreasonable 
But you're certainly not folding. Gluttony is not folding this flop. Absolutely, absolutely no doubt about it. It's a nice, easy check, ca uh, check call every day. Oh, yes. Six of clubs in the turn doesn't change anything. We know Kim is capable of lots of aggressive lines here. Gluttony checks. The check call flop, though, is pretty scary, though, if you are in Kim's shoes. But he's not a sacred player. And the deuce does, in fact, give him the best oh, of it. come on. It's unfortunate because Gluttony, obviously, is trying to get to showdown. He d and he kind of, he, he does, there's no reason for him to turn his hand into a bluff here. So it's not as though he's going to convince Kim to fold that deuce. And now that Kim has showdown, it's just going to go check, check on the river soft. And Kim might even find a value bet, right? Given the way the hand has been played, if he checks this river, he basically never has a jack. He basically never has a king. He never has, like, pocket tens that were a trap or pocket nines. So he might he might actually sometimes put it together and go, I'm going to get some ace highs to call here and put it put in a small bet. But also, obviously, showdown, easy game. You can do your bluff? No. No. I say, James. And we're just going to run this ISA through the Channel Islands. <laughs> Let me just double check this this account number. Yep, five seven six four four seven seven three. Seven six suited for Kim under the gun. Now I just wanted to point out we did actually see a fold uh, from Cordelazzi's queen jack off there, which was surprising because it seemed like an opportunity for him to spend some more time with the dealer button, uh, the all-in button, excuse me, the all-in triangle. But uh, the stacks obviously now significantly different from when they were, uh, from what they were earlier when he was making those plays against the initial opener. Oh wow, very interesting fold there from Cordelazzi. Doesn't even want to enter the pot there in position with King Jack off. That is super interesting. Thus far, it does feel a little bit like he's playing push fold. The break is imminent, guys. In fact, this will be the last hand before the break. King, queen, seven. Gluvny outflopped because it is always coming seven. And makes it 275,000. And if he wins this pot, Nick, we will be pretty much where we were at the start of this level. Kim with the slight chip advantage over Glovny. Kortelatsi somewhere around the 7, 8 million mark. And Alexandridis around the 5 million mark. It's always coming it seven. It really is. Uh, I've never been happier. I could watch this all day. Seven. Yeah, let's see those sevens in the chat. Come on. Come on, guys. Still calling these bets and does not river a five. Two point five million in the middle. It's one of those spots where you think you're gonna get a lot of value from a king or a queen, right? You really want your opponent just to be sitting here with King Ten or the, or that or that something like that. King Queen obviously a little bit better. I think for that reason, he probably sizes up. Kim Kim does seem to favor the larger river bets here. So, my apologies. Glovny led the turn. At least he slowed down on the river and he's checked to Kim. Suffice to say, Kim is betting. Yeah. Not as big as I would have thought, actually. He goes quite small here. 500K. 
It's not completely ridiculous to think that fives could call here once in a while, but I think given the dynamic, it's probably just going to be a fold most of the time. Yeah, you know, it happens. It happens. Oh, it's so sick. That just made me, that just made me queasy. <laughs> it, was a pretty, it was a pretty crazy moment. My girlfriend uh, was like, we're going to dinner. We're going right now. I said, one more. Just one more. Just one more. And at this point, I just moved in my house, so I was literally playing with a monitor on the floor. Didn't even have a desk. Some real DJ. <laughs> All right, Glovney has limped in the small. Kim says, ah, 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 you forgot to say the magic word, raise. King deuce of spades. <laughs> Freaking monkey says, good girlfriend. Well, no, <laughs> if, I, if we had gone right then and there, it never would have happened. It's like a nine, seven, deuce, flop. A pair of deuces for Kim. Gut shot for Glovney. Two spades out there now. Things get better for Kim. Yeah, and that paired board also makes him a little bit more confident that he's winning with the, uh, with the deuce without the improvers. Do you want to read a comment from Luke, who's kicking it old school on Twitch? Excuse me, on Twitter. Why do they have to be so similar? The same first four. I mean, come on. Anyway, Luke, using the hashtag PokerStarsTV. I'm all for the deal. Great to see they did, especially with the stacks being close together. I always suggest a deal, even if it's just for the bubble, to get their money back in small pub tournaments. You can only take one hand for everything to change. Thank you, Luke. Thank you for your comment. Uh, Kim facing a bet of 1.2 million right now, and he's probably super, super stoked about this. Yeah, I mean, I big think he, pot. I think he's pretty confident. Oh, he's got baby. the best hand on the turn and on the river. Oh my days! There's 4.45 million in the middle. Full bizzle. Glovney's just got 6.08 behind. Can you imagine a universe where he commits the all-in here to try and rep that nine? whether or not he wants to give up on this pot. It doesn't look like he's going to. This would be, hey, all right, very good. He checks the same way I make love. <laughs> just one touch. Just one touch is all it takes. One touch. Kim deciding, how much can I milk this cow? <laughs> One udder, two udders. <laughs> how many udders does a cow have? At least four, right? <laughs> Utterly ridiculous. One minute. One million is what I heard. It's a little bit less than one quarter pot. I think he's aware that he's also trying to get some ace highs to call here once in a while too. Maybe even some like really wild king highs. Doesn't want to go big. He knows he's got a value hand. What is the minimum number of cards that need to be dealt <laughs> right now for Glovney to catch up? <laughs> Three, I guess, for quads. For, like for quad eights. Something like that. M m maybe just maybe just running jacks. Maybe two more. Two more jack right for the full. That would jacks be fine. Full of nines. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Maybe, maybe two eights. But uh, yeah, this is very sick. Absolutely sick. Animal. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Jim limping in from the small. Let him live. 
says let, Cordelazzi. Let him live. I'm, you know, Cordelazzi could have taken this one of two ways. Obviously, he could have just checked behind or made the raise. This would have been a great time to raise. Seven Check eight. out this flop. Okay. So, parent Seven. for Kim. Gut shot. And a wash draw. Almost a street flash board. Oh, it is a street flash board. Never mind. Yeah, this is this is a, a definitely a reasonable raise. You can can fold out a few dominating hands that might stab, say Jack Seven or something like of that nature. Ooh, and drills it on the turn, uh, and a very important turn for Kim as well. Yikes! What well, Kim? So oh, his, his one million sound a lot like all ins, but yeah, one million the bet from Kim. Oh. My heart skipped a beat there. I thought he said all in. It's not out of the realm that the money does go in. Yeah, I think with the eight high flush, probably just want to call. There's going to be a few bluffs here, like a hand like five eight with the diamond, uh, seven eight with the diamond. Uh, obviously, they can't have uh, seven eight with the diamond, but five eight with the five of diamond, something like that. Um, Eight nine with the di the nine of diamonds something something of that nature. I don't know how you just immediately eliminate all of the. I mean, I know not completely eliminate, but you're just zero in on like those two or three things. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think if we if we shove all in, we really pressurize six three, right? If, if we go all in, six three has a really t hard time calling us. Now, so it, it was kind of subtle, but I don't. You probably noticed, and he did kind of look at his cards as if to say, looking for a diamond, right? That 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 check is somewhat deceptive. Because in many cases, if you know you've made the flush, you know you don't have you to don't look, look again, right? Yeah. So looking is kind of as if to say, yeah, I've got like king six with the king of diamonds here or something like that. Yeah, and really tricky river spot here for Kim. Slightly, slightly over-repping your hand by leading, right? Uh, oh. oh, that's the all-in. Snapped Gaucho! off by Cordelazzi. Gaucho! And that's going to be it oh. yeah. for Kim. Yeah, amazing, amazing run. Uh, ninth place, last prize. Fourth place, 